Now, there are obviously an awful lot of Western New Yorkers who now live down in Florida. Our Danielle Church joins us now. Danielle, life has changed temporarily for a lot of people there. It certainly has, guys. Maria Elena Buscalia is originally from Tonawanda. She just moved to Fort Myers two months ago, and now her new home is just trying to get back to normal. Maria Elena doesn't just see how her community has changed after a Category 4 hurricane ripped through. She also hears it every day, nonstop. Army helicopters, rescue helicopters, Coast Guard, uh, sirens, and chainsaws. It's kind of crazy. Maria Lena and her family hid in one of their apartment's closets during the storm. Thankfully, she says they don't have any damage and their power was restored after a day. And to be honest with you, I feel very fortunate because there are people that still are scrambling for water and still do not have power or gas for their generators, things like that. Everyday life is still far from being normal, with most businesses still closed, grocery store shelves mostly empty, impassable roads, and a lot of streetlights still out. Well, I've lived through the blizzard of 77, the October storm, all of that stuff, and this was like nothing I could have imagined. Andrew Loeb is one of four Western New Yorkers. Meeting and talking with the people, you know, it's, it's very, very devastating who is volunteering with the American Red Cross in Fort Myers. He's working at a shelter for the next two weeks. I brought you some supper and some juice well, for thank the Thank you so much. Providing a place to sleep, meals and medications to more than 1,200 people who no longer have a home. And despite it all. Thank you guys, thank you so much. They are choosing to be thankful so for what they have versus what they don't. One thing, you know, sort of opposite of the devastation is everyone is so grateful. The, the clients are, are grateful of the help that the Red Cross is providing. You know, just in, in a couple of days, you, you see the faces and you become familiar with them. And, you know, there's a little bit of levity that, uh, that you need to sort of uh, get through the trying times. Now, if you would like to help out everyone in Florida, the state does have a relief fund. That's at floridadisasterfund.org. Andrew also recommends donating to the Red Cross. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.